My name is Hannah and I'm a molecular biologist. I work in Denmark in, at Aarhus University. And the first discovery of the sodium potassium pump was actually done um, at Aarhus University. So it has been a tradition since 57 when Jens Christian Skov first discovered the pump. And his first discovery was just very, very basic. He was studying how muscle in, in crabs work, uh, fished out in the harbor in, in Aarhus. And since then, it has been a long tradition. So research takes, uh, takes such a long time, but we are developing new techniques and we are generating novel models. So I can't say that we have had the major breakthrough within the past couple of years, but we are, we are working towards understanding new aspects of the pump um, and also, yes, developing a new mouse model. So we have been trying to understand it as a, as a basic molecular machine. And I had actually generated a mutation which was functionally really interesting and telling a lot about the mechanism. And then only maybe a year later did we find out that there was a person who was, who was suffering, who had this mutation um, in the ATP1A3 gene. Um, and where you saw the, so we could see something in, in our setup on our computer with our small measurements that something was very wrong with this pump. And then you saw the consequences in, in a real life person. Um, so that's extremely motivating and, and extremely touching as well, of course. For AHC, I think this conference is, is very inspiring. So what we've just heard about for the AAV um, and the way to move forward is also to understand just the basic mechanism of what is wrong, because we're still not sure whether it's um, whether it's detrimental to have these mutations and whether it might be better to specifically target knocking down the bad copies and then you could survive better without it or whether you actually need to, um, whether you need a drug to, to help with the folding or whether you could actually target genetically, target at the, um, at the even, even earlier level. Um, but I think that's very, very promising. I think these conferences are, it's extremely in inspiring, meeting the parents, also hearing just their everyday, day-to-day -day experiences, which is important for us to take back to the lab, to have um, what medications have been working, what uh, triggers do they have of the disease, and we can go back and test it, for example, in our mice models, and, um, and hopefully find out why is something good and why is something bad. The conferences here, are, they're very unique also within the molecular biology field. Often you just meet other uh, biochemists or people who study structure, but here you actually get to meet uh, the physicians, you get to meet the patients, and it's, it's very, very inspiring. And just to talk to the, to the parents and hear what have their experiences been with what works, what doesn't work, what makes the attacks worse, um, how does sleep affect your child, which drugs work. Um, and these are things that we can take back to the lab and also um, test on our mice, for example.